Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Derek from PSP Showcase. Thank you for joining us on this segment of getting to know them on this Saturday afternoon. Today, I've got one of our uh, PSP Showcase guys. His name is Cody Marks. I'm bringing Cody in here now. Let's get him on and join in with us. <clears throat> we got you coming on there, Cody. There he is. You hear me, Cody? Yep, I hear you. Awesome. So everybody watching, thanks again, uh, like I said, for joining us on this segment of getting to know them. Uh, this young man, is his name is Cody Marks. Uh, he's number 22 on our PSP Showcase team. Um, he bats left and throws right. Uh, Cody, can you tell me a little bit about you? Let everybody know, like your date of birth, where you were born, um, where you live, what school you go to, what grade you're in. Um, I was born August 2nd, 2004 in Kirkland, Washington, and uh, I now live in Kenmore, and I attend Inglemore High School, and I'm in the class of 2022, a sophomore. He didn't even give a shout out to his high school team. What's up? <laughs> You're the Vikings, right? Yes, sir. Inglemore Vikings. There you go. In so, coaching. Uh, so, yeah. So, um Again, I, I mentioned that Cody bats left and throws right. Um, Cody, when did you uh, start batting left, and why did you start batting left as a right-handed thrower? Um, I've been batting left-handed for as long as I could remember. I feel like – I think um, back when I was two or three years old, I would go in the backyard, play wiffle ball with my dad, and I just would swing lefty and just feel comfortable with it. So I just went with left-handed. So it was just natural. So just yeah. natural. So um, in every segment, I always dime these guys out with their nicknames. Uh, he's another one of these guys that's got like a, a bazillion of them. Uh, we call him uh, the Marksman. We call him Kodalak Mountain. Kodalak um, kind of got the nickname for uh, you know making making opposing pitchers climb the mountain uh, anytime he steps in the box. Uh, he, uh, he can devastate a baseball. And speaking of devastating a baseball, last year at 14, uh, playing in a 15U tournament, Cody probably hit the longest ball of 14U guys uh, to dead center off of uh, one of the top pitching prospects in the, in the um, underclassmen ages of high school. Um, and so, Cody, that ball traveled uh, well over 400 feet. So well, when you hit it, did you did you know you hit a home run or did this feel like you hit a you got a base hit? I mean, it was a three two count. I was kind of fighting with uh, two strikes, and then he he threw me a pitch. I I knew I could hit the fastball high in the zone, and I, as soon as I swung, I I just knew right off the bat that it was going over the fence. Yeah, it was gone. It was. Uh, I had to tell him to slow down because he was like <laughs> like a deer. If you haven't seen Cody play, and I failed to mention this this kid's positions. He's uh, an outfielder and a pitcher. Um, <clears throat> he's, he's a starting pitcher, relief pitcher, however you want to use him. Uh, he, he can handle both uh, situations. And then uh, he's a, an outfielder, primarily a center fielder for our, our showcase team. But uh, runs like a deer. Like, uh, you know, <clears throat> he looks athletic, but when you see him run, you don't realize how fast he's moving until you see him, like, run down a ball that you think is going to get into a gap. And I watched him do that in fall ball. I was like, oh, that ball's going, that ball's going. And we were, we were playing at a, a, a college field, and he, he got to it. I was like, it was in the right center gap. And I was like, I don't know how the heck he got to that, but he got to it. And he, do, he did that a lot for us. He does that a lot for us. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, Cody had an assignment, like the rest of his teammates, to write about, about a player. Um, that um, he looks up to that models his game after or his, one of his favorite players. And he chose Ken Griffey Jr. Kind of fitting because he's Cody's a center fielder as well. So uh, tell us why you chose Griffey. Um, I just really look up to Griffey, kind of want to model my game after him, just the way he played in the outfield, the effort he showed in the outfield, the spectacular catches, all that. And just to add on the beautiful swing and the, the crazy home runs, just – the perfect player, in my opinion, greatest player in the history of the game, I believe. Absolutely. And, you know, if you have the chance to, to – if you have the chance to watch Griffey or even meet Griffey, Griffey is an outstanding dude. Um, but 
you meet this young man, you're going to, you're going to see very similar traits, just very humble, has fun too in the game, you know, just uh, always laughing. You wouldn't know if he went 0 for 3 or 2 for 3 or 3 for 3 because he's just, he's always just kind of lighthearted and easygoing. So um, <clears throat> I love that you picked Griffey because that's a, that's a great uh, player to model your game after. Um, you mentioned you go to Inglemore. So tell us a little bit about your favorite subject there at Inglemore. Um, I probably have to go with history or geometry. Geometry, just because I'm really good at the subject, and I I just know I'd do any geometry problem someone gives me. I just know I I could be able to solve it easily. But history is probably the most interesting subject, I'd say. Yeah, well, it's kind of funny you say geometry because you know anything to do with like math and science. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it ascertains and translates a little bit to uh, baseball. So, um, you know, Cody's always finding himself being able to read and being in center field. He kind of has to control um, reading the, the hitters and knowing the hitters and seeing the <clears throat> pitch locations and such. And, and he does a great job on making sure his corner outfielders are in the right position. So we're not getting burned. So. Um, he does a great job with that. And <clears throat> so, um, Cody, we're in unprecedented times right now with uh, this lockdown and players not being able to go practice with their teams and such. And I've been able to check out some of your social media, which is awesome that you're uploading some video on that. Keep doing that. That's great. Um, <clears throat> but what are some things you're able to do right now while you're in this lockdown and while you're not able to do team stuff to keep your game on point? Uh, well, every day I can, I try to get outside and uh, go hit into the net, get my uh, tee work, all that in, and then I, I'll throw uh, bullpens too into my into my net. And I have a I have a cement wall in my backyard, which is really nice because I could throw like tennis balls against it. I have weighted balls I throw against it to simulate long toss. And then if I stay inside, I'll I have a small little gym area. I could go lift a little bit. I have a few weights. Then I have a treadmill. I run on quite a bit too. So I'm trying to stay in shape. Yeah, I mean, you look at this guy. He's he's, he's like a he's lean muscle. He's he runs like a deer. Like I said, I, I've I've never seen a guy run so effortlessly. You almost as a coach want to look and say, "Hey, Marks, pick it up!" But he's flying past everybody. So. You know, he, he's, uh, he's always given his A effort. And like I said, that's a tribute to the, the work he puts in, not finding excuses. Um, <clears throat> but that also pro probably ties into some goals you have for yourself. Tell, can you tell the people that watch this maybe what some of your personal goals or, or your, your baseball goals? Give us some goals that you set for yourself. Well, academically, um, I try to tell myself every semester to make sure I just uh, A's and B's and stay focused the whole year, A's and B's. That's what I'm trying to get, 3.5 or above. And uh, for the sports side, I, my main goal is to play Division One college baseball, but if it, I just want to play college baseball in general if it comes down to that. Yeah, definitely. Well, and, and you know, <clears throat> if you guys haven't watched Cody play, he's well on track. And uh, the, some of the humble things – about him you know he doesn't he doesn't he's not flashy showing off and showboating he gets it done you know like I said you have to tell him to slow down after he hits a home run because he's trying to 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 beat the the fan getting out to the baseball <laughs> before he gets home but you know <clears throat> something real unique uh with 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 Cody is uh <clears throat> he when he came to me I've this is my third year of uh being able to coach Cody um he had kind of been more of like an infielder and, and watching him run and, and getting him to uh, embrace the move to outfield and, and owning it and becoming a leader out there <clears throat> um, was game changing for him. And, uh, and then with his speed, just the ability, like you'll see a ball hit and like, Oh man, that's going to be trouble. And Cody takes the, the right angle and he cuts it off before it gets to the wall or gets through the gap or he, he runs it down. Um, Cody, what if you if you had some advice to give to some of these young players that like 10, 11, 12, 13 that are maybe infielders that are kind of resistant to moving to the outfield and playing the outfield, how important is the outfield 
as you approach high school and how important has it been to you transitioning to being an outfielder? I'd say to those kids, be open to anything because when I was 11, 12, I used to play strictly second base, shortstop, and pitcher. And I used to hate the outfield. I was like, I never want to play outfield. You just stand there and watch everyone else do whatever. Yeah. And then I got to 13U where uh, the kids can actually hit far to the wall like all the time. And I'd started realizing I had speed and I was able to track balls and just – now I feel like outfield's even more fun than playing second base at times. Absolutely. And it's, it's, it's critical. I mean, you see guys that are, you know, putting balls deep out there and they're on their way to second base thinking they have a, a double, maybe a triple, and Cody's ran the ball down and, and robbed them of uh, <clears throat> their glory. But, you know, some, uh, some interesting things for uh, you young players, like Cody just alluded to, listening to your coaches and, um, <clears throat> you never know who's watching. And um, when we were last year in Arizona, um, some of the, uh, the guys there doing evaluations were watching us play. And they watched Cody hit, and they were like, man, his swing is beautiful. And they were raving about your swing, and they were raving about how, how Cody just goes up there. He doesn't, he doesn't – he's not waiting for his pitch. He's not waiting for one perfect pitch. He hits strikes. He, he, he attacks the baseball. But then they watched him in the outfield, and they were just enamored with the, the player he is. Then they watched his demeanor as he came into the dugout, and <clears throat> he, he's not real loud. He just spoke up, hey, let's go, guys, let's go, and just went back to business, you know, and he just stayed businesslike. And so um, college coaches, if you watch this, uh, this is a guy you want to put on your radar. I mean, Cody, how, ta how, much, how tall are you and how much you weigh right now? I'm about six foot and 160 pounds. Yeah, six foot, 160 pounds. And <clears throat> packs power from the left side and uh, has a cannon for an arm, runs balls down, can run like a deer. Um, and he's still not done growing. Um, you know, he's uh, a sophomore in high school um, this year, uh, class of 2022, correct? Yep, 2022. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so Coaches, if you if you are looking for an outfielder, a prospect, a guy that uh, will put the work in and, and uh, work, I, I'm going to get to also. Cody also does some work uh, with his dad. Can you share share tell a little bit about like what you do uh, when you help with your dad? Um, well, I've been helping my dad for quite a few years now. Uh, usually, I just help him out in the summertime when he needs someone to help him. He doesn't have a coworker or anything, so he. It yeah. uh, takes me out, and I make a little bit of money, too. But now that this we don't have much to do during this time, I've been out working with him, like, almost every week, just helping him out. What, what, what exactly are you doing? Like, what kind of work? Uh, well, we've done a few, like, um, uh, sunroom jobs, like repairing glass, and we're doing – we're rebuilding a fence right now. We're doing a boathouse, too, at the moment. So we have two jobs lined up right now. So a lot of everything. Yeah. So again, college coaches, you want a blue collar guy that's going to go put, he puts hard work in classroom, smart guy, humble, um, with a lot of upside. You need to go check Cody Marks out. Um, maybe at Inglemore, if not, look us up on PSB showcase, follow him, look at his videos, um, and, and better jump on him because this kid's going places. So, um, Thanks, Cody, for joining us today and sharing your story with everyone. Um, have a great weekend, okay? Yeah, thank you, Coach. You too. All right.